In this video, I will be explaining how to prepare a departmental trading and profit and loss account. So in this video, I am preparing only departmental trading account. Videos for interdepartmental transfers when the goods are sent at cost price or selling price. I have uploaded separate video. The link I have given it in the description box. So do watch that video. Now let's move on to this video. The first problem that I have taken is from the following information prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31 12 97. So in this question there are two departments department X and department Y. And these are the items that are given stock on 1197 that is opening stock sales purchases direct expenses postage and closing stock. For all these items the amount are given separately for department X and department Y. Indirect expense for the entire business is 3,900 which is to be divided in the proportion of sales. So this 3,900 is given as a common, ex for common expense for X and Y. We have to divide it for X and Y separately. How to do that? I will tell you when we are doing P&L account. Okay, now we have to prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account. So this is the normal trading account that we will prepare. In the normal trading account, we will have a debit side and we will have a credit side. In the debit side, we will have a particulars column and amount column. Here in departmental trading account, we will have amount columns depending on the number of departments. In this question, we have two departments. So I have two amount columns, department X, department Y. If you have three departments, you have to provide three amount columns and the amount column will be named as per the department. Okay, for example, in this question, we have department Z. We will have three columns, X, Y and Z. Likewise, in the debit side and the credit side, the number of amount column will depend upon the number of departments. Okay, and I have already uploaded a video on how to prepare trading account, trading and profit and loss account. The same thing only. Uh, all the direct expenses will go to the trading account. Indirect expenses will go to the P&L account. So the same format. So if you have not watched that video, go watch that video and come back here. Now we will start with the question. The first item is opening stock. Opening stock you all know we will record it in the debit side. So write to opening stock. For department X it is 9000. For department Y it is 8400. The next item is sales. Sales will be recorded in the credit side. So by sales. For X it is 42,000. For Y it is 30, 36,000. Then the next item is purchases. Purchases we will record it in the debit side. So right to purchases. For department X, it is 27,000. For department Y, it is 21,600. Then direct expenses. Expenses, direct expenses will move to the trading account. So I am writing it here. Two direct expenses. 5,490 for X and 8,520 for Y. Then the next is postage. Postage is an administrative expense. It will go to the P&L account. Then closing stock. Closing stock will be recorded in the credit side of the trading account. So by closing stock. For X it is 10,800. For Y it is 4,800. After recording everything we have to tally our trading account. Okay, the total of department X is 52,800 and department Y is 40,800. The credit total is high. So I am writing the same total on the debit side also 52,800 and 40,800. Now let's find the balancing figure. The balancing figure is to gross profit carried down within bracket B dot F. Profit for department X is 11,310. Profit for department Y is 2,280. Now bringing down the gross profit by gross profit brought down. 
eleven thousand three hundred and ten two thousand two eighty okay now postage postage we did not record it in the trading account it's an administrative expense we will record it in the p and l account so two postage three sixty and three sixty four both the departments now indirect expense the indirect expense is three thousand nine hundred we have to divide it for department x and department y on the basis of what on the basis of sales so first let us calculate the sales ratio what is the sales for department x it is 42000 the sales for department x is 42000 sales for department y is 36000 so how to bring the ratio strike off all the zeros you have 42 is to is to 36 multiples of 6 okay 7 6 are 42 6 6 are 36 so 7 is to 6 is the sales ratio how much is indirect expense it is 3900 so 3900 into 7 divided by 13 equal to 2100 for department x for department y it will be 3900 into 6 by 13 1800 for department y so i am writing it here to indirect expenses for department x it is 2100 for department y it is 1800 now find the total and calculate profit or loss the credit total is higher it is 11310 and 2280 write the same total on the debit side also 11310 2280 and find the balancing figure the figure for x is 8850 the balancing figure for y is 120 this is the net profit to net profit within bracket v dot f so i hope you understood this the second question that I have taken is uh, Vijay Cloth Stores submitted the following particulars and information about their departmental stores for the year ended 31-12-86. There are three departments in this question, hoisery, garments and cloth. The details are opening stock is given, purchase, sales, wages, closing stock and expenses paid, salaries, rent, printing, electricity, sundry expenses. Then transfer from cloth to hoisery and to garments that is transfer from cloth so the cloth department is transferring to hoisery department that is cloth is sending goods to hoisery and again cloth is sending goods to garment so when we send the goods what happens goods goes out of the business so it will be treated like sales and it will be credited for the department which is making the transfer so here cloth department is sending goods so cloth department will be credited with this amount and the receiving department hoisery and garments are receiving so when they are receiving goods what happens goods comes into the business so it will be debited okay for the department which is sending the goods the it should be credited with the amount and the receiving department will be debited with the amount this is called as interdepartmental transfer one department sending goods to the other department then the other things are salaries how to divide salary see here uh, all these opening stock purchase sales wages and closing stocks it is given for all the three departments separately but the salaries rent printing stationery uh, electricity and all this is given as common expenses isn't it so how to apportion this expenses between each department is given here how to apportion salaries space printing electricity all these information are given here okay now first we will prepare the trading account for preparing the trading account you all know we will take only direct expenses salaries rent printing electricity and all are administrative expenses and it will be taken to p and l account okay so now we will prepare trading account first so the trading account in the debit side the first item that you will record is two opening stock it is 33000 for hoisery 
twenty-seven thousand for garments and one lakh five thousand for cloth department. Then the next item is purchases. Two purchases. Ninety thousand, sixty thousand, and two lakh twenty-five thousand. Then we will record sales. Sales will be recorded in the credit side. So by sales, one lakh eighty thousand, one lakh twenty thousand. And two lakh seventy thousand. Then the next is wages. Wages is a direct expense, so we will record it in the debit side of the trading account. Two wages, fifteen thousand, nine thousand, and for cloth department it is nil. Then closing stock. So before recording closing stock, this is an inter. There is an inter departmental transfer. as i already told you for the sending department which is sending the goods it will be credited so in the credit side we will record by inter departmental transfer inter departmental transfer and for cloth department only we should credit so put a dash in the first two departments for hosiery and garment we are putting a dash and in the cloth department we have to add the 63000 cloth is sending goods to garment 63000 and to hosiery 6000 so 63000 plus 6000 will give you 69000 and in the debit side two inter departmental transfer we will debit the receiving department the hosiery is receiving see how much is hosiery hosiery is receiving 6000 worth of goods so in that column we will write 6000 it is receiving only 6000 from cloth department and garment is receiving 63000 so in the garment column i am writing 63000 okay so for the sending department we have credited with the total value of goods sent and the receiving department we have debited with the value of goods that is received first we have to record closing stock closing stock will be recorded in the credit side so by closing stock 21000 72000 and 81000 now let us tally the account and find the balancing figure the credit total is more than the debit total so i am writing the same total in the debit side also 2 lakh 1000 1 lakh 92000 and 4 lakh 20000 now we will find the balancing figure the balancing figure is will be transferred to p and l account so two gross profit carried down within bracket b dot f balancing figure for cloth department is 90000 Department department it is thirty three thousand and for hosiery department it is fifty seven thousand. So this balancing figure will be transferred to P and L account. Having completed the trading account, we have to prepare P and L account. But before preparing P and L account, we have to allocate these common expenses. Okay, we have to apportion these common expenses based on the information that is given in the question. So we will go one by one. The first one is salaries. Salaries rupees forty eight thousand were paid to twenty salesmen on a uniform scale. So out of the sixty thousand salaries, forty eight thousand was paid to twenty salesmen on uniform scale. Uniform means equal scale. So let us see how to calculate salaries. Salaries, forty-eight uh, thousand rupees. We are allocating for twenty salesmen on an uniform scale. So forty-eight thousand divided by twenty will give you two thousand four hundred. So this twenty salesmen received two thousand four hundred as their salaries. So these twenty salesmen, how are they in the departments? Look here, the number of salesmen in the three departments were four, five, and eleven. respectively that means 
in the hoisery department there were four salesmen in the garment department there were five and in the cloth department there were 11 okay so each of them will receive 2400 then remaining salary allocate the remaining salary in equal proportion all the department will receive equal amount 60000 is the total salaries where did i take the 60000 from here from the question 60000 is the total salaries out of which we have divided 48000 for 20 people so what is the balance amount balance is 12000 so this remaining salary will be allocated in equal proportion for all the three departments so equally we are going to divide for the three departments so divided by 3 will give you 4000 rupees so this 4000 rupees will go to all the departments equally let us see how to allocate this salaries i am writing it here for hoisery for uh, garment and for cloth this 4000 should go to all the departments it is equal basis so 4000 rupees i am writing for all the departments then this 2400 it should be allocated based on the number of salesmen for hoisery it is four salesmen see for hoisery it is four so 2400 into 4 it will give you 9600 okay then for garment it is 2400 into look how many salesmen five is given in the question so into 5 12000 for garment then 2400 into how much people in the garment see 11 people are working so into 11 it is 26400 for cloth now find the total so the total of salaries for hoisery department is 13600 garment it is 16000 and for cloth it is 30400 okay now we have calculated salaries now we shall calculate the next item see the next one is space occupied by the departments are equal so we are going to calculate rent so based on the space only we will calculate rent so it is given us it is uh it is uh, the space occupied is equal so the rent will be divided equally 10800 so the rent is 10800 if it is to be divided equally we have to divide it by 3 so 10800 divided by 3 is 3600 so 3600 rupees for each department hoisery garment and cloth then the next is printing what is given printing expenses were to be apportioned in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 2 so how much is the printing it is given here printing for hoisery it is 4800 into what is the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2 so 1 divided by 4 1200 then for garment it is 4800 into 1 by 4 again it is 1200 then for cloth it is 4800 into 2 by 4 2400 then electricity charges see what is given electricity points in each department were 3 4 and 9 respectively so it should be apportioned in the basis of this ratio so electricity what is given for hoisery it is 2160 into what is the ratio 3 plus 4 plus 9 16 so 3 divided by 16 is 405 for hoisery department for garment department it is 2160 into 4 by 16 540 and for cloth department it is 2160 into how much is for cloth it is 9 so 9 divided by 16 1000 215 okay the next one is sundry expenses 
there is no explanation given in the additional information for sundry expenses so how to divide the sundry expenses we will divide it on the basis of sales ratio how to calculate this sales ratio uh, see here in the question sales how much is sales 1 lakh 80 1 lakh 20 and 2 lakh 70000 so in this if we strike off these common zeros what is the answer it is 18 is to 12 is to 27 all these are multiples of 3 so further dividing it 6 is to 4 is to 9 so this is the sales ratio 6 is to 4 is to 9 based on this we have to allocate sundry expenses Uh, so sundry expenses if we allocate for department h that is for hoisery it will be 2850 into 6 divided by 19 the answer is 100 in the same way for garment department it is 2850 into 4 divided by 19 600 and for cloth department it is 2850 into 9 divided by 19 it will be 350 so i did not have space for sundry expenses alone so i have calculated like this this is for cloth department and for hoisery and garment i have calculated here okay so this is how we have to allocate the common expenses now let us proceed to prepare p and l account now we have to prepare p and l account and uh, i have uh, brought down all the balances that we have calculated that is in the trade we prepared trading account and we calculated gross profit which was transferred to the three departments that i have written here and salaries rent printing electricity sundry expenses which we calculated for all the three departments i have written here so with this we are going to prepare p and l account the first is we will first bring down the gross profit so by gross profit brought down 57000 33000 and 90000 after writing the gross profit we have to record the expenses you all know the expenses will be recorded in the debit side so two salaries 13600 16000 and 30400 then rent two rent 3600 3600 and 3600 then printing to printing 1200 1200 and 2400 electricity Two electricity, four zero five, five forty thousand two one five. Then sundry expenses, two sundry expenses, nine hundred, six hundred thousand three fifty. So we have recorded everything. now we have to tally the account and calculate the balancing figure the credit total is more as you already see here it is 57000 33000 and 90000 i am writing the same total on the debit side also 57000 33000 and 90000 figure for hoisery department is 37925 department it is 
for the department it is 51,035. So this is net profit to net profit within bracket B dot F. So this is how we will allocate um, common expenses. We are, not, we are going to prepare normal trading and profit and loss account only. The difference is there will be certain common expenses. We have to allocate those common expenses to each department. So this is how we have to prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.